Hi guys, so cutie 20 here. Today we're gonna draw Mimi Mir makeup, so let's get started. To draw cute Mir, tell us first start by drawing her face. So I'm gonna come right here and basically draw the bottom of a U. So come down with a curve, come right across to about right here. Draw the same thing, and I'm just gonna try to make it a little bit more angular at the jaw area and then bring it right down to the center. And about right there, I'm going to go right back up. Just to give her face a little bit more shape rather than just round. So from there, now that we have this face shape in, let's come back to where we started. And we're going to draw a, a circle. A big circle towards the edge. For her eyes. And same thing on the other side. So about right here. Towards the edge. There. So now that I have my two circles in, let's make them draw so cute eyes. I'm going to come in here with two small circles for highlights and a curve line at the bottom and shade in the top. And lines at the bottom and same thing over here. I'll make this one a little bit wider compared to the other one. Okay, so then I have my eyes in. Let's come over here. We're gonna spruce them up with lots of lashes. So at the top right here, I'm gonna start with one long one, some more coming down, and maybe one more right here. So same thing over here, because she's all about the lashes, right? The makeup. So I thought it's very necessary to give her lots of lashes there. And then let's come up over her eyes, say about right here. And I'm just going to draw a slight angle and come down for her brow. And then thicken it up and down. So same thing on the other side. So about right here. I forgot for what color her brows are. So I'm just going to leave them blank for now in case they're not black. Okay, so then from there, we're, let's give her a sweet smile. So about right here, just gonna draw a curve, it slightly goes up and then cap it off. From there, let's go ahead and start to frame her face. So I'm just kind of imagining an oval as I draw this. So say about right here, I'll just give myself a point right in the center. And then from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and draw a curve that comes down on both sides as if I'm drawing an oval to connect. And then let's come right back to the center and I'm gonna go up slightly for her hair and come right down to where I started. So same thing here, her hair parts in the center. So we're gonna come down, come right back to where we started to frame her face. Then let's go up straight to say about right here. And then we're gonna go up on this side and up on the other side to part her hair. So right here, we're just gonna give her some little detail in the middle, a little curve right here and here as well. And then let's bring this down. And as we come to about right here, we're gonna come in and then come out. So same thing over here. Come in and then come out. From there, let's work on her body before we finish the rest of her hair. So I'm gonna come right here in the center and I'm gonna give her a little neck right in the center and I'm gonna come down for shoulder. Same thing here, come down for shoulder. And then I'm gonna give her this little shirt. So I'm just gonna put a round curve right here for her neckline. Find kind of like where her armpit area would be. I'll give myself a point and I'm just gonna draw slight angle out on both sides. So this is her chest area. And I'll just come in here real quickly. Add a little detail and then a little neckline. And come back up here and connect this. 
And let's bring this down a little bit. I'm just going to give her this little shirt. And about right here, I'll just wobble my way across. Then let's give her a little waist right here. And then I'll cut it off for her jeans. So we'll curve all the way across and then bring this down. So the hardest thing is always trying to figure out what to have these uh, famous YouTuber TikTok, uh, TikTok stars wear. <laughs> okay, so then from there, I'm going to come to the center and say about right here. Just give myself a slight angle line for where her pant, I mean her legs are going to start. And right in the center, just going to start with two angles out. Then from there, let's bring this down. So I'm just going to give her a simple pair of jeans. Keep coming down. And see how long you want to bring it to, see about right here. And about right there, I'm getting thinner as I come down and I'm just going to slightly wobble and cut it off. So same thing on the other side. draw her ankle so we're just kind of down with two ankle I mean two angle lines and then we're gonna flare it out for her shoe this parts a little bit straighter and then just connect right here with a curve so same thing here just bring this in a little bit straighter and curve this one out a little bit more and connect And then for some details, come right here with a curve for our sole, top curve, cut it off, and then two curves for some details and laces. So same exact thing over here. There. Okay, so then now that we have the main detail here, let's come over here and draw the sleeves. Right here, cut it off, and let's draw this hand right to her side. I want her hands to end about right here. So just imagine her shoulder, her arm's gonna come out about right here. We're gonna come in a little bit and then come out. And let's put her thumb about right here to her side and just tuck her hand in. make it nice and simple on one side and then the other side we're going to have it come out on her hip so about right here I'm going to bring out a sleeve about right there and then let's bend her arms we're going to have her hands about right here so we're just going to two angles and then right here we're going to angle out and just thicken up her arm her elbow Come in thinner, angle down, and then a little finger. From there, let's add some details on her pants. So right here, I'm just gonna give her a little band on her jeans, all the way across. A little circle for her button, two curves on both sides, and then I'm uh, gonna add a little pocket. And then the center line coming all the way down and another line and then cut it off. And then let's add some tears in it. So say about right here, just wobble, zigzag away across. You can add some here just to change it up. And maybe one here. There, makes it a little bit cooler, right? Hopefully, <laughs> and then um, it's a little bit straighter. And bring it in there. Hopefully that helps a little bit. And now to finish her gorgeous hair. So let's bring this down nice and long. Tuck it in a little bit and then come out. About right here, I'll zigzag some strands and bring it all the way down. 
And same thing here. We're just going to come out. Maybe you can flare it out a little bit to change it up and then bring it in. Oh, just add a little line right there. So we might be able to see some of it, right? And then um, just come back in here. A little bit more detail. Or you can do this when you're coloring her hair. Let's add some strands and right here you can add some parting lines. Some more detail and then of course last but not least let's give her heart right here on her shirt to make her my jaw so cute. Merta Myler from um, Mimir Makeup. I really hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I know I probably butchered it, but hopefully I didn't. And um, if you're a fan of hers, please let her know that I drew her and hopefully she'll see this and love it. Thanks so much for watching. And if you loved it, please give me a like and subscribe so you won't miss any new Jaw So Cute videos. See you later.